how's it going? So, it's been about, well, almost exactly two months since my vasectomy surgery. So I thought I'd do a follow-up and just uh, let you know how it went since I was bedridden um, and my recovery. So, it was pretty normal, uh, I guess. Uh, I'd, I'd say totally, total time was probably a month and a week before I stopped being very aware that I had testicles all the time. Um, that, uh, you know, your thought wasn't, how is this going to affect my testicles? Uh, so that was about a month and a half after the vasectomy when I stopped being that sensitively aware of my parts. Um, I guess I had some issues. Uh, one of my incisions was larger than the other uh, considerably. Uh, I'd say about the size of my pinky finger, fingernail. So um, I tried to talk to the doctor, and, you know, once they work on you, they don't really talk to you after that, I guess. Uh, I sent them emails. Uh, I called and left a couple messages, and they didn't get back to me. Um, they did, however, uh, call me one morning and tell, call me at 9.30. I wake up around noon. That's, that's my wake-up time. That's morning for me. So they called me uh, in the middle of the night pretty much, 9.30 in the morning, and told me they wanted me to come in right away. Uh, just just because uh, they were concerned with some of the uh, description of what was going on. So I hurried up. I got in there. It took me about 45 minutes to get down there, uh, seeing that I live uh, in a different city. So I get there, and then they make me sit there for a fucking hour. Um, at that point, after it had been an hour, I'd watched uh, an entire episode of something on my phone and then started something else and looked down. And I was like, God, I've been here for a fucking hour just sitting here. Now, mind you, on the phone, they called. They said, come up here, and when you get here, we can see you. Uh, you'll be seen when you get here. Not you'll sit for an hour and we'll dick around and maybe, you know, longer than an hour. I don't know how long it would have actually taken because after an hour, I went up to the, the desk and I talked to the nurse at the desk and asked them why, you know, I've been st sitting here all this time and I was supposed to be seen when I got here and everything. And they were like, oh, well, your appointment was for, you know, 10, 15. And I said, I can't even. They called me at 930. And... You know, I told them it was going to take me an hour to get there after waking up. So I left my house maybe at like quarter to ten, maybe even ten. But they had given me an appointment that I uh, could not make. Um, so then tried to tell me, oh, well, you know, you weren't here for your appointment at all, so we're trying to fit you in. No, you were supposed to fit me in when I got there. So, um, and so I told them, you know, if I'm not seeing you in the next five minutes, I'm leaving. You know, it's noon. I'm, I'm out of here. i got to go to work. Uh, so five minutes goes by. I look at them. I said, I'm out of here because, you know, I'm not digging around with you guys. I called had my insurance call. They made sure I didn't pay for that appointment because fuck you if I'm going to pay because I sat for an hour in your waiting room. You're not getting paid for that. So um, all in all, uh, I noticed that because I was wearing the, the tight underwear to keep everything together, uh, it was in constant contact and kept moisture on my wound so it didn't, you know, like... Um, clot properly, scab, and then heal itself. So I did have to spend maybe two days. Uh, Any time I wasn't working, I just laid, you know, with my nuts hanging out. And that, that helped. It, it did the trick. You know, it, uh, it stopped being moist. It got to, you know, scab and heal and everything. It was fine. So my first three weeks was difficult. You know, everything was kind of like, oh, I'm achy. I don't want my nuts hurt. No, my nuts hurt. You know, so for the first three weeks to a month, your nuts are going to be sore, and you're going to know that you have testicles every time you move. Um, but, I mean, everything I talked about in the, the original video, you know, setting everything up, all that worked great. Having everything set up was great, uh, and then transitioning into work, wearing some tight briefs, that was pretty good. It just, you know, make sure you keep your wound dry as much as possible. Um, when you sleep, uh, before you go to bed, try and lay there for half an hour, you know, and then, um, I mean, I was, I was wearing the underwear at night. I don't know if I was supposed to, but uh, I could not just let my shit hang. I couldn't do it. It, it, it was too, uh, the sensation, you know, it made me, like, I was punched in the stomach, you know. But uh, all in all, um, I'll just reiterate. Let me go over because I, I guess I've been rambling a little bit. About a month and a week. A month and a week, and I was back to normal operation. After three weeks, I was riding my motorcycle, but every little bump felt like I was hitting potholes. So I guess wait about a month before you try any power sports um, if you don't want any discomfort. So that's it.
um, you know, if you get snipped, you're going to have about a month of just not feeling swell. And then after that, you'll you'll be normal, you know. And it's not that you can't do stuff. You just you will know that you have had stuff happen to your testicles.